Life is so much like a balancing act. It's really kind of like a set of scales. On one end of the scale of life, we have a bunch of little things. I call these little rocks. Um, they're important, we have to get them done. We have errands we have to do. We have to take the kids to the game. We have to go grocery shopping. We gotta get our hair done. We gotta get the oil changed. And life just has a bunch of little things that really do matter if they don't get done. It definitely shows up and impacts the bottom line in our life at some point. But if all our life is consumed with a bunch of little things, what happens is we come to the end of our life or to the end of a season and we realize I was busy, but I didn't really produce anything. So what I call are the big rocks of life that we have to continually assess and evaluate. What's the big rock that I really need to get done this week or this month or this year? And it really could represent a, a span of time. I think in weeks, I think in months, quarters, half a year, year, and decades, and then ultimately my whole life. So what are the big rocks that you need to get done? I call a big rock really just something that really has meaning, has significance. If you're a business owner, it might be what is the big rock and how do we increase our profits? How do we you know, increase the bottom line? How do we reduce our costs? How do we reduce waste? How do we reduce employee turnover? And those are big rocks that have big impact at the the bottom line of our company. What it might be a big rock inside of your marriage that you know, you're spending quality time, that you're improving your communication skills. What might be the big rock that really produces a lot in terms of your parenting and that is making intentional time for your kids and uh, learning to be a good listener, learning to help them learn to solve problems. We all have big rocks that at the end of our life, end of the day, really matter most. So I wanna put this on side of the scale and we wanna reach the point where we're really getting those big rocks done, the big rocks accomplished. For me, the big rock of life is this. I wanna to come to the end of my life. I wanna stand before Jesus and I wanna hear him say, well done, good and faithful servant. That's really the biggest rock that I can achieve inside of my lifetime. Now, we all have other rocks that really are discretionary rocks. How much time we put into our hobby. I think hobbies are healthy in balance and moderation, but we throw that onto the scale and let's say we just have a little too much of a good thing. You know, enjoyment, just personal taste, like ice cream. You know, ice cream is a good thing, but I think, you know, we can get out of balance. You know, if you're over a gallon a day, you might be out of moderation. <laughs> being serious there. Okay. So, you know, we might be looking at, uh, you know, spending time with friends. I think it's good to have good relationships, but you know, maybe you're spending too much time with friends. It's too often with friends, social media. Uh, you know, you're just spending way too much time on social media and you're getting hung up and I got to check this. And what did they say? Did they like my post? And we all have a bunch of these little rocks that begin to fill up our schedule, but they're discretionary. But there comes this point where we've just added the big enough of the little rocks that it's now tipped the scale and we aren't gonna get the big rock, the most important things done inside of our life. So this is where the concept of less actually can produce more. So if we do less of the unimportant things, less of the little things that really don't matter so we can achieve more of the big things, the big rocks, it gives us a much more successfully balanced life.